Hey guys! Welcome to our channel. Before diving into today's topic, let me ask you a simple question Have you ever wondered where all your emails, social media posts, photos, or even the Netflix movie you're watching are stored? The simple answer is the cloud. Today, we store everything on the cloud, from personal files to critical enterprise business data. The email you just checked now? That tweet you posted this morning? The playlist your bestie sent you? They're all in the cloud. As data grows exponentially, cloud storage usage is also expanding. Businesses are quickly adopting multiple cloud storage and hybrid cloud storage for the speed, scale, and flexibility they offer. Cloud storage security includes a set of policies, technologies, tools, and practices to protect data stored in cloud storage systems from leaks, cyber attacks, unauthorized access, and other threats. Cloud storage security works on three models. Public cloud, private cloud, hybrid cloud. Public cloud services are hosted by third-party cloud service providers. A company doesn't have to set up anything. Usually, clients can access a provider's web services via web browsers. Private clouds are typically more secure than public clouds, as they're usually dedicated to one organization. The isolated nature of these clouds helps them stay secure from outside attacks. A hybrid cloud is a computing environment that combines on-premises private cloud and third-party public cloud services. It typically involves connecting an on-premises data center to a public cloud. Risks associated with cloud storage are 1. Lack of visibility. An organization's cloud-based resources are located outside of the corporate network, i.e., third-party and run on infrastructure that the company does not own. This can limit an organization's ability to monitor their cloud-based resources and protect them against attack. 2. Multi-tenancy. It refers when several different cloud customers are accessing the same computing resources, such as when several different companies are storing data on the same physical server. 3. Access Management and Shadow IT Users deal with sensitive data to public clouds, and multiple virtual machines can access insecure information flows and it is the use of software, hardware, or other systems and services within an organization without the knowledge of the organization's IT department. 4. Compliance It is the practice of ensuring that cloud computing services meet the guidelines that govern the security and privacy of cloud computing. 5. Misconfiguration It refers to any glitches, gaps, or errors that could expose your environment to risk during cloud adoption. It leads to 1. Security breaches 2. External hackers 3. Ransomware 4. Malware 5. Insider threats that use vulnerabilities to access your network Steps to secure a cloud storage 1. Understand the shared responsibility model. Begin with reading the shared responsibility model of your cloud storage provider. Ask the following questions. Which security controls are your responsibility? Which security controls are part of the cloud offering? 2. Leverage access control in the cloud. Identity is the new border. A robust IAM prevents unauthorized access to your cloud storage. 3. Enable cloud data protection, use encryption, or create your own encryption keys that a third-party vendor provides. Ensure your encryption is end-to-end, -end, which means it shields your data in rest, motion, and when in use. 4. Maintain visibility, leverage software like Cloud Access Security Brokers, CSB, and Cloud Security Posture Management, CSPM, to maintain visibility of your cloud infrastructure and control shadow IT usage. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends and family. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell so you never miss a beat. And if you have any questions, shoot them in a comment below. Let's dive in. Until next time, explore the digital world with confidence. Stay tuned, signing off.